There is no going back. I said there is no going back. I said there is no going back. The King of Glory is on the matter. Elohim is on the matter. Adonai is on the matter. Open up your mouth. I don't know how you want to cry this morning. I don't know how you want to cry this morning. Call upon the Lord that see HD. Call upon the Lord that knows the end from the beginning. Say, Lord, address this matter, oh God. And give me victory, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You see this matter. God is on that matter. And you will never fail. You will never fail in the name of Jesus. The king of glory did not fail. <laughs> Who is that devil that will cause you to fail? He went all the way to the finish line. I said you will get to the finish line and it will end in your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks, Lord. Blessed be your name. Father, we put a seal upon that word. We put a seal of the blood upon the song. I know heaven has heard us. Even the pit of hell have received the warning that this matter is settled today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we put that seal of authority. The seal of yea and amen. The seal of it is done, it is finished, it is dusted. In our favor, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It's only the tree that have the ripe mango. <laughs> That receives the stone. It is only the child of destiny, Hamatunde, that goes through obstacle. Mm. Because that place that look wonderful, that look very fruitful, you are not the only one that see it. Other people are going after it. And they are doing everything to pull you back and to pull you down and to discourage you. But I've come to make a decree. I said, no matter how much they come after you, I say you will get to the finish line. And you will be victorious in the name of Jesus. Ah, nothing good comes easy. Yes, nothing good comes easy, but the king of glory. He's there to make it easy for me and for you. And it shall be easy. I release grace for ease upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release favor that makes things happen upon you in the name of Jesus. I release grace, Holy Ghost. Malige de Masogaba. Father, even in the area where we are guilty as charged, you said even the captive of the mighty shall be delivered. And you will save your people. So even in the area where we are guilty as charged, where we have been chained because we deserve the chain, Holy Ghost, we release the power in your blood. We release the mercy that took you to the cross upon those matters, oh God. I say, Jehovah, as we enter into the month of June, Jehovah, we are entering in celebration. We are entering in jubilation. We are entering with the matter settled. I say, the first Sunday of the month of June shall be your month of testimony. It shall be your day of testimony. It shall be your day of testimony when many are lining up to testify. I say you will not be missing in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God. The song have already preached the sermon. By the grace of God today's sermon is titled The Voice 
of change. The cry of destiny. The cry of destiny. The cry that will bring a change. The cry that will bring a change. I said, there is your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, the grace never to settle for less. We refuse to end the way the enemy wants us to end. But you are too anointed to end this way. You are too anointed to end this way. You are too fortified to remain at this level. The level better and bigger than we Oh my God. He said that we do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond what your imagination. Can you tell something? Say, even this mind thinking is too small for my God. This my thinking is too small for Jehovah. Tell somebody, say, my thinking is too small for what the King of Glory can do. How we do exceedingly abundantly above your imagination. Say, never begin to think big. Begin to walk big. Begin to do big. Do big, big things. Do better, better things. In the name of Jesus. We serve a God that is too much. You too much, yo. You too much, yo. Baba. Oh, the Chica Dibia. Before you see, let me tell you what it means. You are too much. Oh, the means you are wonderful. Chica Dibia means the God that is bigger and better. Than the native doctor. The God that when I put my request in one basket, when I put all my eggs in one basket, I'm not worried about tripping and falling. I'm not worried about losing it all. Because he has never lost any battle. Can we sing that song to the glory of God? Thank you, you Lord. Too much, oh, Baba. My father. You're too much, oh, hey. Baba. Oh, the ego. She can't be. Thank you, Lord. Oh, the ego. Oh, the ego. Thank you, Jesus. She can't be. Oh, the ego. Yes, Jesus. You're too much, oh, Baba. You are too much, Holy Ghost. You're too much, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just lift up your voice and say, Father, indeed, I can trust you. Mm. He's very trustworthy. We can trust him. We can depend upon him. We can rely upon him. We can rest. Oh my God. Knowing that he's busy walking in our favor. We can sleep. Knowing that he sleepeth not. He slumbered not. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open up your mouth. Appreciate this God this morning. That voice you are waiting to hear. I said, may the king of glory open your ear to hear clearly from the throne of grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the enemy know, say, this one is unstoppable. This woman is unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Open your mouth. The more they chase you, the more you do better. The more they pursue you, the more you glorify God. Say, Lord, the grace never to give up. Masega balibosu kaboa. 
Nige de gema siga bolunde ya. Rege de bosuga balebo sunde yebo. Riga balebo sande makuba. The more they pursue you, the more they get disappointed. The more they want to see you fail, the more they fall on your behalf. I say, Holy Ghost, Amina Monde Kaba. Rige de gema suga ba. Open up your mouth, cry to the Lord. Let the King of Glory hear your voice of victory this morning. Morning. Holy Ghost be glorified in Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Choir God bless you. Can we please give the Lord a shout of praise in the house? Mali Gaba. Here is the voice of victory. Here is the voice of jubilation. Here is the voice of change. The voice that brings something out of nothing. The voice that makes it a ministry out of a misery. The Lord that that voice that brings a testimony out of pain, out of sorrow, out of the storm, out of the limitation. That is the voice I'm talking about this morning. That voice that tells you, I can do all things through God that giveth me strength that voice that say I'm your way maker I'm your miracle worker I'm your promise keeper I'm your light in the midst of darkness that voice that say I'm not letting you go <laughs> until I'm done with you you are not oh my God the same voice Origa da 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 da, makire do masuga ba. Beloved, change is necessary. Sometimes change is very uncomfortable. Sometimes change is not something that we want to do. Because the devil already knows the outcome of the change will be in your favor. He will do everything to discourage you. He will do to tell you how hard it will be. And he will begin to give you the stories of those that went down route and they didn't do well. But he forgot that we serve a God. Oh, that see where we are there is no way that see open door when the door is shut that see miracle in the midst of obstacle that see miracle in the midst of obstacle that saw the whole world as nothing but by a spoken word my god my god my god my god the whole world made sense in genesis 1 the bible says in the beginning god created heavens and the earth. In the beginning, the heavens and the earth were formless. Are you hearing me, beloved? The heaven and earth, they were void. There was nothing on the earth. But by the voice of Jehovah, by the voice of change, by the voice that makes all things beautiful in his time, the king of glory spoke my God, and the change came. And this is what we are enjoying today. <laughs> because somebody refused to judge the book by the cover. Is somebody hearing me this morning? Don't judge based on what you see. Don't judge based on what they say. Don't judge based on how you feel. Though my body might be feeling hot. <laughs> It looks like I have fever, but I have the God. I have the God. Hey, by just spoken words, fever disappears. Faith does not deny reality. But in the midst of reality, faith acknowledges the God that can do all things. Are you hearing me, beloved? I don't know the voice you are hearing, but I've come to release the voice of destiny upon your ear this morning, upon your heart this morning. That voice that causes men never to give up. If anybody should have given up a long time ago, it should have been me. But I'm that woman that have refused to die. Are you hearing me, beloved? 
I'm that woman that have refused to give up. I'm that woman that has said, I must serve God until the day I give up the ghost. That woman that they could not kill. Are you hearing me, somebody? Because I have made up my mind to say I will not die a miserable death. My enemy will take my place. <laughs> In that grave, they have dug for themselves, not for me. Praise the name of the Lord. The things that we speak, the things that we, that we hear matters in life. Don't allow the negative voice be the last thing that you hear. Or the first thing that you hear in the morning. And never allow the enemy to have the final say in your life. The word of your mouth matters. Are you hearing me, beloved? Because the Bible is very clear that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So the thing that we speak, the thing that we hear in life matters. The thing that the children speak, the thing that they hear. That's why for my children, anybody say anything, I'm countering it right away. Even when they use their mouth to say, I say, God forbid, not at my watch. Not while I'm still alive. Even when I close my eyes in death, I'm joining the host of heaven, the angels and the saints in heaven. So I still have authority to do what? To seek the, to actually, actually, actually have a better authority then to speak to the Lord concerning them. Are you hearing me, beloved? No matter what happened, never allow the enemy to have the final say. Because the enemy, all the enemy wants is to see you give up. They want to see you cry. Never allow them to get what they want. Are you hearing me, beloved? Let the enemy know you got the wrong woman. When it comes to my marriage, you got the wrong woman. When it comes to my children, you got the wrong children. When it comes to the church, you got the wrong church. Let the enemy know. Be that woman, that man. When the, when the devil hear that you woke up in the morning, they are shivering. Even before you open your mouth, they already peed on their pants. Be that man, be that woman. That will put the enemy in their place. Somebody hearing me this morning. That have refused to die the way they want you to die. That have refused to end up the way they want you to end up. My God, that you have made up your mind to be a nightmare for the enemy. Ah, whenever they remember you, they cry blood. That's what I want to see. They remember you, they cry blood. Praise the name of the Lord. They want to see you cry. They see you laughing, dancing, smiling. No matter what they do, you say you got the wrong chick. Is somebody hearing me this morning? That voice of the Lord is still speaking. <laughs> he said, let there be light and there was light. Let there be breakthrough and there is breakthrough. Let there be healing and there is healing. Let there be fruitfulness and there is beloved. Use your voice positively. You know, our older ones sometimes, you know, how do I put it? Like our grandmothers, grandfathers. Sometimes, you know, because of the way they were raised, <clears throat> you see them, you know, they use some certain words. And once it entered my ear, I said, uh, <laughs> Auntie, sister, that's not the way it's supposed to be. So I reject that. That's what they, I reject that in Jesus' name. Not for her, not for me. But they, they say those, they don't even mean it. This child, you will not kill me. Or this child you will kill me. No, that child will not. You have to say it in a way that the devil don't want to hear. Never you say this child you will kill me. Kill you for what? When the Bible says that children are what the heritage of the Lord. They are the blessing that come from him. And the same Bible makes me to understand that the blessing of God does what? Make it rich. And it didn't end there. It does not add what? Sorrow. That is the word of God. That is the word. That is the word. 
If you look at Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1, he said, Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country. The voice that turned the life of Abraham around came from Genesis chapter 12. That voice of divine direction. I said, may the king of glory open your ear. May you never make mistake. May you never walk in error anymore. Just that voice. That was all Abraham was waiting for. The voice that we said, go. Go. If Abraham did not listen to that voice, Isaac wouldn't have ever been born. It's after he left. And the Lord made him a promise. Say, go and I will do this and do that for you. And once you take that step of faith, may we hear the voice of the Lord. And may we hear it clearly in the mighty name of Jesus. May we hear the voice and may we hear it clearly. May we never hear the voice of the enemy. May we never hear the voice of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at the Bible in Ezekiel 37. Still talking about that voice. The voice of change. The voice of victory. The voice that brings dry bone back to life. That's what I'm talking about. Even those areas where you say, I'm done with this. It's no, it's a no-go area. There's nothing the doctors can do anymore. Beloved, speak the word. Ezekiel 37, it looks like there is nothing that can be done. The bones were dry. Not just dry, but they were very dry. The Lord told this the son of man, just prophesy. Son of man, speak the word. Son of man, speak the word. Immediately he obeyed and he spoke the word. What happened? The dry bone came back to life. So what am I saying? Those situations where you think are no-go area. Where you think this is it. There's nothing we can do about it anymore. The Lord is telling me to tell you to speak the word. To tell you to prophesy upon those areas. Because the voice of change is ignited in your voice right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The voice that will make the difference. is already ignited. It's already ignited in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in Ezekiel 36. I'm going to start reading from verse 24. Ezekiel 36, from verse 24, he said, For I will take you out of the nations, and I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land, Holy Ghost. And I will sprinkle clean water on you, and, I, and you will be clean. I will clean you from all your impurities, iniquities, and from all the idols, as 26 says, I will give you a new heart. A new heart. A heart that will think positively. A heart that will be obedient to the Lord. A heart that will not worry about what man has said, what woman has said, what the doctors are saying, or what that loan agent is saying. But a heart that will be obedient and totally submissive to the voice of the Lord. I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit in you. <laughs> What's that's the spirit of God? The spirit that cannot be conquered by any storm. The spirit that causes you to sleep in the midst of your storm. My God, Jesus was asleep in the midst of the storm. The spirit that, that, that does not understand fear. He said, I'm a new spirit in you. I will remove from you the heart of stone. And I will give you the heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit what in you. The Lord will put his spirit in you. That spirit that fights until victory is achieved. That spirit that refuses to end like this. 
That spirit that refused to give up. Even when Jesus was overwhelmed at the garden of Gethsemane, he did say, God, not my will, but your will. That spirit that refused to accept what the enemy have proposed. Or that refused, I refused to bargain. I refuse to bargain with the devil. I refuse to bargain with the enemy. I refuse to accept Ishmael for Isaac. I don't care how much I needed a husband or I needed a wife. I refuse that spirit, the spirit of God. So we put my own spirit, that spirit that the enemy cannot quench, that sickness cannot stop. Affliction can, and I will put my spirit in you. I'm moving you to follow my decree. And be careful to keep my law. Jesus is God. May you receive the spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. That spirit that will keep you going to the glory of God. May the king of glory remember you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 2. That the cry of the Israelites came to him. And he spoke a word in the life of Moses. Exodus chapter 2 from verse 23. Said during that long period, the king of Egypt died. And the Israelites groaned in slavery and cried out and their cry, and their cry for help. Beloved, it's important. It's important. They did what they cried out. They released their voice saying, I need help. Saying, God, I will not end this way. My children, I refuse to leave any battle for my children to fight when I'm gone. Said, no, we've been in this bondage for this long. Our children will not continue. And they cried. I didn't say the Bible said. They cried and their cry for help came to the Lord. I don't know how you will cry today. I don't know how you want to cry. Are you comfortable where you are? Are you okay where you are? Do you like the way things are going in your life right now? If you don't, it's time to cry. Even if you like the way it's going, it can be better. So you still have to do what to cry. Praise the Lord. And their cry came to the Lord and what God did something about it. God did something. And just one voice in Exodus chapter 12. The voice of God liberated them from that bondage. Say, Pharaoh, let my people go so they can do what they can serve me. The king of glory did not stop until the children of God were liberated in that bondage. He keep releasing storms in the land. He keep releasing plagues in the land until they let go. And I, I pray that the same thing the Lord will do in your life. Whatsoever that says I will not let you go, they will let go by fire, by force. Whosoever that says your smile, your love, your happiness, oh, gives them running stomach, they will stay in that toilet until they die. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, the voice of transformation. Holy Ghost, Father, do what only you, the Lord, can do. Do what only you. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible said in Exodus, in, in Esther chapter 4. If you start reading from verse 12 of the book of Esther. Beloved, we cannot be silent. We cannot be silent. We are watchmen that need to cry. Until we see things begin to change, we cannot stop. Until we physically see the change, we can't stop. I said, God, my life will not end this way. Ah, I refuse to end this battle this way. It must end in my favor. 
I refuse to see the enemy keep throwing party because I'm failing in the game. Holy Ghost, the table must turn in my favor in the name of Jesus. We can't keep silent. We can't. We can't. They wanted blind Bartimaeus to be silent, but he refused to be silent. Say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He said, I'm not calling you anymore. The last time I checked, you are not Jesus. So what is your problem? We need to learn not to allow the enemy to shut us up. When you know you're right, you stand by it. You are a child of God. We walk in power, we walk in authority. We live a life of favor and we know who we are. Do you know who you are, beloved? Then talk and walk like you know who you are. I refuse to give up. The only day this mouth will stop talking like I'm talking right now. It's when I close it and see myself in heaven. Because I must make it there. No matter what the enemy does. No matter how much stones they throw at me. It's back to center. In the name of Jesus. Esther chapter 4. From verse 12. He said when Esther. When Esther's wars were reported to Mordecai. Ha -ha, yeah, 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 yeah. He sent back this answer. I don't know which word has been reported back to you. And you are busy crying over it. I don't know the letter you have received. The email you have received. The voicemail that you have now sitting in your voicemail. Are you going to accept no? Mordecai refused to take no for an answer. Because he know what is supposed to Praise the Lord. Never take no for an answer. No matter what the enemy is doing, you know, believe me, you know, that's why we need to be very intentional. You know what the Lord said. You know what the plans is. You know the arrangement you had with your father in heaven. So anything contrary to that, I will not accept. Are you hearing me, beloved? But the car said, you better go back and tell her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he sent back his answer. He said, do not think that because you are in king's house, you alone of all the Jews will, will escape. Verse 14, he said, for if you remain silent, can you open your mouth? Say, I will not remain silent. I will not be a failure. I will not be a disappointment. So if you remain silent, that means if you refuse, God have other people that can do what you have refused to do. We cannot remain silent. So if you remain silent, Those problems in your father's house, are you remaining silent because you are in America? Things are working well. You are in London. And the rest of your family members, they are wallowing in poverty. Are you going to remain silent? Will you remain silent and say it is okay? As long as it does not affect me. May God have mercy on us. Mordecai refused to accept no. He said, go back and tell her. Send that word back to your enemies. Go back and let them know I refuse. I got an email sometime during the week. 
And the, the, the lady on the other side that, has the, that we have contract with, said, oh, you know what, Jesse, just sign the contract. I said, look, I'm not signing the contract. I will not sign. I said, I'm not. And when I was writing it, my heart was beeping. Ah, what if they just cancel this? And I said, you know what, let me write it. I refuse. I've, I've, I've accepted this for 10 years, no more. I was surprised to get email back. Oh, okay. Just choose a date. We can have a meeting. So we can say, eh? you guys of all people, I was shocked. Sometimes you conclude too quick. Refuse. I was shocked. When I say not to all these cheap, the brand name insurance companies. They choose a date so we can have a team meeting. I say, eh? And I was writing the email. My heart was shaking. If they cancel this contract, that's basically where you ah, I said, you know what? My, my, the, my office, I said, Jesse, send them the email. Whatever that happens, happen. I was shocked. So let's not conclude. Don't give up. Push. Push. Especially if your spirit is telling you, go ahead. Do it and let God, let, you know what? All God is waiting for is for us to take a step of faith. Take a step. Refuse to give up. No matter what the doctors have said. No matter how many years you have waited. Refuse to give up. Refuse to give up. Refuse to settle for less. Why are God bless you guys for this song today? It got me thinking. Refuse. Refuse. The king of glory is in that matter. He, you know what? You are the hand of God. You are the mouth of God. You are the hand of God. You are the leg that he used to walk. So he need you to cooperate with him. We need to cooperate with the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord need us to cooperate with him. Are you hearing me, beloved? He's not like the devil that pushes himself into you. That bulldozes himself into matter that does not concern him. He said, I stand at the door of your heart and I do what? I knock. If any man open, I will come in. If you don't open, I will quietly mind my business. The Lord is waiting for us so he can make the move that he wants to make. He is waiting for me. He is waiting for you. You are asking God for this big thing, but you are not ready to take a step. If you are comfortable where you are, he will let you be where you are. He said, don't be, did, was Esther, did Esther remain silent? No. You know why? Because Mordecai pushed be the Mordecai of your family. Be the Jabez of your family. That we say, as long as I have the breath of life, this family will not end this way. Are you hearing me, beloved? Jabez refused to end that way. He cried the cry of change, the cry of destiny, the cry that turned his life around. About four or five prayers that Jabez prayed in that first chronicle 4 verse 10. The Lord answered every single one of them. He answered every single one. But if Jabez did not cry, he would have remained the way he is. The, his family would have remained the way they are. First chronicle 4 verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. Saying, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Number one. Number two, enlarge my cause. Number three, that I, that thy hand might be with me. Number four, that thou wouldest keep me from evil. What a prayer. Number five, that, that, it, may not, that it may not grieve me. And God, you know, God granted him 
that which he requested. So the Lord is waiting for you to make a request. Is somebody ready today to make that request? In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1, from 9 to 20, Hannah cried a cry of destiny. He said, God, I refuse to end a barren woman. I refuse to continue with that name. Do you know uh, Hannah? He said, which one? The one that is childless. He said, that name must change. That status must change. But she stood up. A lot of us, we talk much, but we don't put action to it. She stood up and made sure that she see the change that she demands. The Bible told us about Elijah in 2 King, um, 2 King chapter, no, uh, 2 King chapter 2. If you start reading from verse 14. It said, and he took the mantle of Elijah. Praise the Lord. Elijah was about to go with him and say, my father, you cannot go without mantle. You need to let it go because you promise. If he had thrown, if he had given him the mantle, he won't be shouting. Say that mantle, I'm, I refuse to settle for less. He said, I have worked for this mantle. You must let it go. You go nowhere with it. He screamed. He cried. So that the Lord is waiting to hear your voice today. Concerning that issue. One more time. God bless you guys choir. God bless you. Because that song preached my message. Praise the name of the Lord. I refuse to end this way. Elisha said I walk for that mantle. You go nowhere with the mantle. You must let go unless the heaven gate is going to shut. Until you let it go. How many of us wake up at the middle of the night and you are knocking on heaven? Say, Father, I cannot sleep. Oh, you will not sleep either until something begins to happen. Somebody have to choose to be the one to make the sacrifice. I've always heard that men are the head of the house. It doesn't matter. You can still pray. You can still pray as a wife. You can still pray as a child. You don't have to wait for that man that chooses not to cry. You can cry on his behalf. Praise the name of the Lord. Ha! Huh. If you go and look at the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, if you start reading from verse 7, Zerubbabel Christ said, What is this mountain? Something has to happen. What is this mountain that have refused to be leveled? Said it must become, we must, we must bring it down. It must come down. I don't know what the mountain is, but the word of God is saying, just speak the word. And the mountain will be a plain ground. It will be a leveled ground. In the name of Jesus. The Lord had the voice of Jacob. Jacob came to the point. He said, I, will, I refuse to be a fugitive in my own land. She cri he cried to the Lord. In Genesis 32. From verse 28. From verse 22 28. He cried to the Lord. So I will not let you go. I refuse to settle this way. I refuse to continue my life like this. I refuse for this matter to continue this way. I don't care where the origin may be. But it must end this time. My children will not continue running. Because if that night did not happen in Jacob's life. His children would have continued running for the crime that they know nothing about. Some of us are running for the crime that we know nothing about. We are suffering with the thing. You don't even know when it happened. Because, oh, is that a OBF's daughter? Oh, okay. What the father did to me, 19, you know no date. I can never forget. You are suffering for what your father, your mother did. It should not be so. Refuse. 
Jabez was suffering for something that he knew nothing about. The pain that the mother carried and transferred to the son. Hey, I don't know if you are here and you can hear my voice. And you are suffering for something that you know nothing about. May the king of glory liberate you in the name of Jesus. The Bible in the book of John chapter 11. Even Jesus Christ. <laughs> go to the poor tomb of Lazarus. And he was told, let's just, uh, just let it be. Let it be. He's been there for four days. He's already smelling. Do you want to cause katakata in the land? The stone is already rolled over. How are we going to, they start to give him excuse. <laughs> he said, based on what I had, the day I was told that he was sick, what I had was he was asleep. And people that are sleeping, they don't smell. Are you hearing me, beloved? I don't know what you are hearing. Jesus did not hear that Lazarus will die. And he refused to settle for less. He refused to not, he refused to end the way the Lord had not ordained that Lazarus will end. He went to the two men. He, he, he cried a cry of destiny. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And what happened? The dead man came. The same man that had been dead for four days. If Jesus did not settle for less, I refuse to settle for less. That's a word for me. That's a word for you this morning. A man that was called Blind Bartimaeus basically took his name. I don't even know what his last name is. All we know is Blind Bartimaeus. He woke up one day. He said, hey, I heard that Jesus is coming through this road. Say, today is my day. I don't know if any of us here can hear me. That Jesus is in King's Assembly today. And you need to refuse to continue the way. Ah, I love that song that says, I'm tired of the start to go. I know you guys know how to sing. There's going to be more than this. There's going to be, there's going to be, there's going to be more than this. There's something. Desperate people, they do desperate things. Are you desperate enough to break the yoke that had been on your neck? Jabez was desperate. He said, this yoke, you go today. You go today. Are you ready to cry to the Lord within the next 10 minutes as I hand over the mic? Can we all rise? And begin to, I don't know how you will cry. But me, I already know how I'm going to cry. I refuse to remain like this. I refuse to allow my life to end the way the enemy wants. I refuse. There is more to this Holy Ghost. And I must find it. I must find it. Lift up your voice and begin to cry to the Lord. Cry and say, Father, I don't know about you, but I need a change. I, I know this is not just what God has for me. There's more to this. There is more to this. There is more. 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 Open your mouth. If the makers of iPhone don't stop, the makers of Samsung, every year they, or every year or whatever, they bring out new ones. My God. I know Jesus have better things than that. Oh, open your mouth. Cry to the Lord. There is a better version of me, Jehovah. 
Father, this is not all that you have for me. There is a better version of Jesse somewhere, Holy Ghost. Is somebody crying to the Lord? Say, Lord, I need a change. I've been in this position for too long. Open up your mouth, cry to the Lord. Say, Lord, there is a better me somewhere. There is more to what you have for me. There is more. Holy Ghost, cry to the Lord. Cry to the Lord. Cry to the Lord. Cry to the Lord. There is more to this gospel. There is more to this gospel. There is more in America. Holy Ghost, we need a change. There is more in Nigeria. Father, we need a change. Open up your mouth. Cry to the Lord. Open up your mouth. Cry to the Lord. Say, Lord, arise and let the yoke upon my neck be broken. Open your mouth. Make that a prayer point. Let the king of glory arise. And every yoke that have held me down. Every yoke. When you have a yoke on your neck, you cannot go too far. You'll be circling in the same place. You take ten steps forward. You take another ten backwards. Say, Holy Ghost, let that yoke be broken by fire. Open up your mouth. Cry to the Lord. Holy Ghost arise. Holy Ghost arise. Let every stolen destiny be restored by fire. Lord, I refuse to remain in Lodiba. I refuse to remain in Lodiba. Open up your mouth, cry to the Lord. Lodiba is a place of hopelessness. It is a place of sorrow. It is a place of pain. It is a place of stagnation. A nation, a place of getting less than you deserve, less than you deserve. Say, Holy Ghost, a masugaba, lige de ge de ge de, lige de ge de ge de ge. Cry unto the Lord, beloved. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth, hey kaba. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your voice, say, My Father, My Father. Say, my father, my father, every pattern of darkness in my family line, in my family line, I am not your candidate. I say, be broken by fire. Open up your mouth, cry down, pray, Kabale. Every family line of darkness, every family line of limitation, every family line of abuse, line of drunkenness. Fire. I say, Holy Ghost, fire. Every family line of barrenness, I release the fire of God upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. I want you to lift up your voice. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Every agenda of the wicked, every agenda of the wicked over my life and destiny, over my children's life and their destiny, over the church of God. I say, what are you waiting for? Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Is somebody crying to the Lord? Every agenda they have to see you buried, to see you lukewarm, to see you childless, to see you single all the days of your life. To see you labor without favor. To see you labor without yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Open your mouth and call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. By the 
mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee we bow, every tongue we confess that Jesus is the Lord. Open your mouth, is somebody fire in prayer? Cry to the Lord. 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 Over every stubborn pursuer, release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Over every stubborn pursuer, receive a kamalebo shande. Makuri basugada. Hey, hey, gaba baba. Ligada masuga balebo shinde. Makonde masogaba. Higa de 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 de. Hey, 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 Hey hey cry to the lord cry to the lord cry to the lord masheka balebo sunde in jesus mighty name we pray if i were you i will live where and i'm going to walk i need you to see yourself walking forward See yourself moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. Moving out of where the devil has put you in chain. Oh, out of that limitation, out of that cord that will not allow you to move in life. If I were you, I will move. Holy Ghost, Sande Makobaya. Lige de ge de ge de. Lige de ge de ge de. Cry unto the Lord, beloved. I move out of obscurity. I move out of pain. I move out of sorrow. I limitation. I move, I move, I move. I move, I move, I move. Out of joblessness, I move. Out of joblessness, I move. Cry to the Lord. Move, beloved. Move, beloved. I say move forward. In the realm of the spirit, I see you moving. I see you moving. I see you moving. Pull your children out from where they have chained them. Pull them out from where they have chained them. Pull that job out from the hand of the wicked. Cry to the Lord. Pull your husband out. Every stolen virtue Every stolen virtue, every stolen virtue, I open those graves and I let them out. I open those graves and I pull them out. I open those graves and I pull them out. I Some of you are trying, but it looks as if you are not. You are laboring, but it looks as if you cannot see the fruit of your labor. I pull you out. 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 Hey, Kababa. Reggae Dege De. Hoki Masogaba. Mande Masugabo. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Hey, Holy Ghost. My Gada Gada. Malige de mosugabo, iya gado maseba, ekiri mosuga dagada, mande masogabo ya, iye gede masugabo, eli makaba, eye na mosugaba. You are making effort, but it looks as if you have not been doing much. Eke malu masay, rige de gede. I say walk into your abundance. I say walk into your abundance. I say walk into your breakthrough. Into your abundance. Into your abundance. Into your favor. Into your mercy. I say walk. Hey, 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 hey. I release grace upon your voice. I release grace upon your voice. I release grace. Open your voice. Ah. When you open up that mouth, even the enemy will obey. Ah. I release grace. Upon your voice. Holy Ghost grace. Upon those voice. Holy Ghost grace. Upon those voice. I. My head. I. 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 I
Father, that man, that woman, that can hear the sound of my voice, that when men hear your voice, they are turned off. I release grace upon that voice. I release grace upon that voice. I release grace. Hey, 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 hey. I say your voice will bring peace to your home. Grace, oh God. Grace, oh God. Grace, oh God. Your voice will bring peace to that marriage. There is some fire right now. There is some fire right now. I release grace upon your voice. 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 Here can the boss say, Gabo. The enemy will hear your voice and they will submit. They will hear your voice and they will submit. They will hear your voice and they will submit. They will hear your voice and they will say, I say, you will not be silenced. Holy Ghost, and your children will not be silent. I say your voice will be heard. I say your voice will be heard. I say your voice will be heard. And there will be an obedient that follows your voice. There will be an obedient that follows your voice. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Just lift up your hands to the Lord as we round up. Say, Lord, I surrender all. Okay, yana masegaba, reke debo sunde yana masugabo. Say, Holy Ghost, I surrender all to you, Lord. Heke raba ba 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 ba, maluke do, and I refuse to take it back, my Father. I surrender and I refuse to take it back. I surrender all. I speak into your ear. I say surrender all. And you will not take it back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They are coming back to you. In abundance in plenty. They are coming back to you. In multiple faults. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, they are coming back with you. They are coming back to you with testimony in the name of Jesus. Just one more time, say, Lord, I return all the glory to you, Lord. I refuse to share from your glory. I refuse to share from your glory. As you say, now just lift up your voice and say, my father, my father. Your blessing upon my life is permanent. In the name of Jesus. I say it is permanent. In the name of Jesus. Father, no more death. No more sorrow. No more pain. No more affliction. I say the storm is over. In the name of Jesus. For so shall it be, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.